Hello and welcome to the tip of the week. Today we're going to do a refresher on how to calculate the path length of a liquid transmission cell. Now it's a good idea to calculate that path length if you reassemble the demountable cell, say you switch spacers, or if you've just received a new fixed path length transmission cell into the lab. So here are three easy steps to calculate that path length. First, collect and energy throughput spectrum. To do that, you're going to collect a background on an empty sample compartment, put your cell into the transmission mount of your FTIR, and collect a sample spectrum on just a clean, empty liquid transmission cell. And what you'll get is a spectrum that looks like this you'll see a little fringing pattern throughout the spectrum. And from that fringe pattern, we can go ahead and calculate the path length. So step two, you're gonna zoom in on a section of that fringing pattern. We're going to take two points within that sinusoidal wave and we'll count the number of fringes in between. So in this case, my first point is 2080 wave number. And if I count the number of fringes all the way down to 1870 wave number, that's 11 fringes. So step three, go to piketech.com and visit our Pike FTIR calculator. From there, select the thickness tab and it's within that that you can calculate the path length. Simply enter in the values. So in this example, we had a path length of 0.2 millimeters. So thanks for watching this week, and we'll see you next time.